Holiday World is known for their three fantastic wind coasters, and of the three of them, the one that gets the least amount of talk is the ride located right at the front of the park, and that's the Raven. Everyone loves talking about Voyage and Legend is great, but Raven? When brought up in conversation, it's typically like, oh yeah, I like the Raven, but Voyage. And so as a result, the ride kind of gets disregarded, which I think is kind of unfair because Holiday World has three fantastic wind roller coasters, and this is one of them. Raven's a great ride, and in today's review, I'll be discussing the layout and my general thoughts of the attraction so you can know what to expect when you go to ride it. Now because of where it's situated in the park, this is the first ride you'll see when you get there. The lift hole and drop is located directly to the left of the front entrance, but in order to actually get to the entrance of the ride, you have to go down this little hill that winds to the left into their Halloween section, and that's where you'll find the clad iron gate that is Raven. Now this ride has a general Edgar Allan Poe theme because of his famous poem, The Raven. The extent of the theming is pretty much confined to the physical station building. It's very loose. It's actually a really cool looking building from the exterior. Inside, it's not really anything fancy. Like I said, it's a loose theme, but that's okay. I mean, the ride is fairly fast paced, so it wouldn't really make any sense to put any theming during the ride. You wouldn't be able to notice it anyways. I think the big thing with Raven is this ride goes out through the woods. You don't typically think of Indiana of having a lot of trees, but this ride is very hard to get shots of because so much of it exists low to the ground, flying through trees, over water, which also makes it for an incredible night ride, which I'm going to talk about later. So let's walk through this ride experience a bit. When you board your vehicle, you notice as the classic PTC trains, as with the other wind coasters at Holiday World, this is a six car train. My personal favorite seat on Raven is the second to last row. It's a bit smoother than the very back row, and you still get that crazy whip and pull as you go throughout the ride. But front row is good too. I mean, definitely check that out as well. That lap bar can come down further on you during the ride. And because Raven has quite a bit of positives, every time you reach the bottom of a drop, that lap bar will want to come down further. So this might be one of those rides that you want to kind of hold your lap bar up. Otherwise, you will get pretty stapled by the end, and that's never too comfortable. But anyway, so you come out of the station, you take a left-hand turn, pass through the storage barn, and begin up your lift hill. Raven is the shortest of the three wind coasters. That is a height of 80 feet. The drop is slightly bigger than the height. It is at 85 feet. And Raven kicks things off straight away by dropping into a tunnel, which interestingly enough is the same exact thing that Legend does. You pass through a straightaway drop into darkness and rise up into what starts to be your next hill but you're not going to get any airtime because of how it starts to turn to the right instead you actually end up getting more lateral forces as opposed to negative g forces and that's something that you're going to notice throughout this ride i mean it's a cci wind coaster if you've ridden some of their other rides you know that they do laterals very well you'll notice it's one of their stronger more defined elements most of their turns are not sharply banked so instead of leaning into the turns you're thrown to the side. So I hope you like the person sitting next to you because you'll probably end up slammed into their side. Now I really like this turnaround on the ride. It is slightly banked, but it passes over Lake Rudolph. If you stay in one of the cabins on the resort, depending on where you are, you can see Raven from some of the pathways. The main place where you're gonna be able to see this turnaround is if you do one of the backstage tours that they typically offer at Hollywood Nights. It's actually a shame that most people don't get the chance to see the ride going over the water because it's pretty photogenic. You rise up and turn to the left and you pass directly up in between the trees and that other structure into what might be the craziest hill on the ride. For those keeping track, this is the fourth hill on Raven. And when you're sitting in the back, the drop here is pretty aggressive. I think one of the things I like most about it is that when you reach the bottom, you're hauling so much speed that Raven then immediately whips you to the left and you're riding so close to the ground that the entire finale of the ride from that moment on is just insane. Pacing is one of Raven's strong suits. Am I opinion, the second half of Raven is better than the first half. I mean, it's a fairly short ride, but the way it just rides the ground, I mean, just look at this POV. It is absolutely flying. Every time you hit the brake run on Raven, you're a little disoriented because you're like, oh shoot, we're back in the park. We're not in the woods anymore. But also you kind of need to take a breather because you're like, holy crap, that was wild. Raven is a sleeper hit. It's funny when the park was actually putting in, the initial thought was to have it be more of a family coaster. Well, that didn't exactly happen. Raven is crazy. It's actually unfair that this is their third strongest wind coaster in the park. If you put this in any other park, this would probably be their best wind coaster. And Holiday World always takes such good care of their rides. Raven does have a bite to it. It has a few rough spots, but for the most part, it's actually pretty well maintained. Again, my only real complaint with this ride is, yeah, it's a little short. But because it packs in so much, I don't mind, especially when you have two other crazy wind coasters in the park that are both very long rides. So when I call it short, I mean, 
it's really not that big of a deal. It's actually probably a good thing that it's shorter, just so that it complements the other wind coasters. So that's Raven during the day. I highly recommend visiting the Coaster Enthusiast event Hollywood Nights because then you get some crazy rides on Raven at night. And Raven at night feels like an entirely different beast. This is a fantastic night ride because of the path that it travels. You don't see any of the rest of the park. You're in total darkness. It's really cool how they hid most of this ride. So yeah, this thing is absolutely insane at night. That's personally my favorite time to ride Raven. I feel like it just runs faster. I mean, if you do Raven pretty early in the morning, it's not going to be flying. But at the end of the day, holy cow, yeah, it's crazy fast. I mean, during the day, I'd probably give it its final score, you know, like an eight or something. But at night, it's at least an eight and a half or nine. So there's your Raven appreciation video. I'd love to hear from you guys down in the comments below if you agree with my thoughts on this ride. And if you're new to the channel, I'd love if you could subscribe. I do coaster reviews from rides all across the world. So thank you so much for joining me. Make sure to stay tuned for more here at Coaster Studios, and I'll see you next time.